Melanie Pierce on ABC Central West. Good morning, Melanie Pierce with you on your airwaves at ABC Central West. Hope you're enjoying this sunny Wednesday morning. So the facility was built in the mid-30s and opened in 1937. It's always been an ABC local radio transmission facility, but it's had m multiple transmitters uh, inside the building. The mast is um, 200 metres tall. It broadcasts the signal uh, throughout the Central West. Uh, its primary coverage area would be the area bounded by uh, Coonabarabran, Yass, Cootamundra, out to Lithgow and probably out to Parks. But beyond that, it's well and truly easily received at the Queensland border and people in Albury can listen to it as well. So it's, uh, it, it travels far and wide. Not 100% sure of why it was built here, but um, it was around the era of the railway going through Cumnock and up to Dubbo. And to house a transmitter, I don't think there would have been any transmitter that would have been big enough to need this size of building. I'm only guessing, I can't really tell, but I believe there might have been some sort of national security uh, purpose that the government were thinking back in the 30s when they were building this. They might have thought that build it bigger, have the capacity to use it for other things. It's a very big station for an AM transmitter. I came to Cumnock in 1975 and, uh, as a technician. We used to live on site. There used to be three houses here originally and then when I came here there was two one for the OIC and one for the next in charge. No, it was really good. We had two transmitters, it was a 10 kilowatt and a 50, and they're all valve type, so they needed maintenance, like cleaning and rotating the valves, and uh, just monitoring the program. And... Orange is on 22, Dubbo 27, and Burke is on 30. ABC News. Um, it was at the end of the rail line or out, uh, near a rail line so they could get really heavy infrastructure out here on the rails. So we think it was built here because all of the heavy infrastructure that needed to come out here would have needed to come out on rails. Yeah, it wished to climb the mast to uh, change the light bulbs and they periodically used to blow. So we used to have to go and climb the mast to change them. They don't worry about it anymore. They, they turned the lights off when I left in 92. The big disc at the top is what we call a capacitive top hat for the mast. It changes what we call the electrical length of the mast um, and makes it a little bit easier to reconfigure the electrical properties of the mast and from the transmitter's point of view makes it appear to be something that it's not, a little bit longer, a little bit taller. Saves on having to build a taller mast. The future of this site is uh, to continue broadcasting AM radio. At this stage there's no reason to believe that that will change into the future. AM radio is still a very important medium for the ABC to get to their audience and uh, we see no change for it apart from a possible change in transmitter technology as, um, as that, that sort of thing progresses.